This class discusses contingency table. A contingency table or two-way table shows the frequency distribution for bivariate data. We have a contingency table in this slide, which is constructed based on a sample of 1,164 faculty members in a university. We have two variables, age of the faculty member and the rank of the faculty member. For age, we have five different age categories. For rank, we have four different rank categories. The table lists the frequency or the count of faculty members falling in each age rank compilation. For example, there are two faculty members who are under 30 and in the rank of full professor. There are three faculty members who are under 30 and in the rank of associate professors. Usually, the last row and the last column indicate the column sum and the row sum. For example, for the first row, uh, the total is uh, 68, which means that there are 36 faculty members under uh, 30. For the first column, the total is uh, 430, which means that there are 430 faculty members in the rank of full professor. The right bottom num number is the total number of faculty members in this dataset. Using a contingency table, we summarize the frequencies for all possible scenarios uh, for the possible age rank combination. We can define probabilities based on a contingency table. A marginal probability is the probability when two, I mean when only considering one variable. For example, what is the probability that a randomly selected faculty member is an associate professor? In this question, we only need to consider one variable, rank. The last row of the contingency table lists the frequencies of faculty members for all different ranks. Recall that the probability is calculated as the ratio of number of outcomes in the event and the total number of outcomes. The event here is R2, or associate professor. It has 381 faculty members. The total number of faculty members is 1,164. Therefore, the probability is 381 over 1,164, which is 0.327. Let's consider another example. What is the probability that the age of a randomly selected faculty member is between 50 to 59. In this question, we only need to consider one variable, age. The last column of the contingency table lists the frequencies of faculty members in their uh, 50s. The event here is A4, which has 253 faculty members. The total number of faculty members is 1,164. Therefore, the probability is 253 over 1,164, which is 0.217. A joint probability is a probability when both variables are considered. To calculate a joint probability, we follow the same strategy. That is, count the number of outcomes in the event and then divide it by the total number of outcomes. Notice that a joint probability is still a probability. We use the word joint simply to emphasize that it involves more than one variable. Let's check two examples. What is the probability that a randomly selected faculty member is an associate professor with age between 6, uh, 40 to 49? In terms of notation, uh, this event corresponds to A3 and R2. We may locate uh, the corresponding cell in the contingency table. It shows that 125 faculty members 
are associate professors in their 40s. Therefore, the joint probability is 125 over 1164, which is 0 0.107. The second example is what is the probability that a randomly selected faculty member is an assistant professor with age between 30 to 39. This event corresponds to A2 and R3. Check the contingency table in the previous slide. We will find that 163 faculty members are assistant professors in their 30s. So, the joint probability is 163 over 1164, which is 0 0.140. We have demonstrated how to calculate a marginal probability and a joint probability. We can calculate marginal probabilities and joint probabilities for all possible scenarios in the contingency table. Compared with the previous contingency table, it is essentially a relative frequency table. Each number is obtained by the corresponding uh, frequency divided by 1164, the total number of faculty members. Let's point out some properties of marginal probability and joint probability. Firstly, the sum of all joint probabilities equals to 1. This property holds because we have included all possible values for age and rank. Any faculty member must fall into one of the age-rank combinations. Similarly, the sum of marginal probabilities of rank equals to 1. The sum of marginal probabilities of age equals to 1. We can see that the sum of joint probabilities in one row equals the corresponding marginal probabilities. For example, check the first row, 0 0.002 plus 0 0.003 plus 0.49 plus 0 0.005 should equal 0 0.058. Uh, of course, by running error, they are not exactly equal you may check how these uh, joint probabilities are calculated. If you present these joint probabilities in terms of fractions, uh, you will see that they are exactly equal. Similarly, the sum of joint probabilities in one column is also equal to the corresponding marginal probabilities.